All right. I think we actually have everybody. I actually did that right the first time. I'm super excited. How about that? <laughs> How about that? So uh, welcome everyone out there in the, uh, the social streams land. Uh, my name is Chad Elkins. I am here and joined by three esteemed colleagues. We've got uh, Danny Devine, we've got Jeremy Howard, and we've got Andrew J. Smith. Say hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hello, party people. <laughs> so there we are. Is. There it is. We are here tonight <laughs> to play a new game coming out to retail stores on February 10th. Uh, it's reached it's already in backer hands from the Kickstarter campaign, but but hits retail in a couple of weeks. It is called Kohaku which is a zen-like, peaceful tile laying game. And I will probably be anything but that, but uh, the gameplay itself is zen-like. Uh, so before we get started, though, why don't we do a quick uh, run around the horn here and uh, everybody introduce yourselves so folks out there that do not have to know who you are will uh, get a better feel for it. All right. Uh, I'm Danny Devine. I'm the designer and artist for Kohaku. My name is Jeremy Howard, and I'm a brother man doing all I can. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a content creator and a social media guy um, who work with Man vs. Meeple, and I also represent my own Jambalaya Plays Games. Yeah, Jambalaya Plays Games, man. That's how we first uh, first met years and years ago. In the ago. beginning. <laughs> you know? Jeremy, I sent out an update to the Kickstarter backers, and I called you a content creator extraordinaire. There it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm Andrew J. Smith. I'm the uh, owner of Gold Seal Games, the people who uh, kickstarted Kohaku. So mm -hmm. I'm really happy that uh, got to make a really great partnership with Chad, uh, helping bring this game to a wider audience. So thank you, Chad. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, appreciate that, Andrew. The, I'm also very excited about this game. I think it's, I remember playing the prototype of it uh, still in like very just. First, first prototype I think you ever got sent from Danny. I remember playing it uh, at Proto ATL, and I was blown away at how awesome this game was. Not knowing, yeah. you know, what two, three years later uh, we would be sitting here playing it and, and doing that, you know, kind of co-publishing game and bringing this uh, out to market. So I'm very excited about it. Uh, but for those that don't know me, Chad Elkins uh, with 25th Century Games. So without further ado, no one wants to hear us ramble, at least not while we're, while we're uh, just sitting here looking at each other. So let's <laughs> jump into the world of TTS for a Zenlight <clears throat> Tiling experience. Let me uh, switch, right. up, switch up the view here so we can hopefully see that screen a little better. Let me kill off this overlay. Let's see. Well, what's, what's better, that or I think... I might be a little better. Let's just do this for now. All right, I'll zoom in so folks can see it. How about Danny, you want to um, take us away on explaining setup for the game? Uh, it does play one to four players. We're obviously going to play a four player game, uh, but walk us through the setup of how you would get it going and then give us a quick rundown on gameplay. Yeah, for sure. Um, setup's, setup's pretty simple. You've got two types of tiles. You have uh, fish tiles and feature tiles. Um, feature tiles, you're going to use all of them regardless of the player count. Um, so you just shuffle those up and you're good to go. Uh, and then if you're playing, depending on what number of players you're playing with, you're going to, if you're only playing with two players, you're going to remove all the fish that have uh, three stones in the corner. Or if you're playing with three players, you remove all the ones that have four. So that's kind of how you know which ones to take out. Um, but since we're playing with four players, we're going to use all the fish. So these all go in. And shuffle those up. And then we're going to, depending on the player count, you're going to remove a certain amount of fish. So for a four player game, you just remove five random. Oh, my TTS is acting weird. And that's because five. the uh, that's because the timer, the fish are the timer for the end game. So you got to make sure yeah. that balances out for player count. It'll make sure that we each get the same exact amount. Yep. Um, all right. So now this just populates the board. Anywhere you see a, uh oh, my tabletop simulator is acting funky. Yeah, I'll, uh, uh, anywhere, I'll, I'll set the board for you. Cool. Anywhere you see a fish shadow is where a fish goes. Anywhere you see a lily pad is where a feature goes. <clears throat> all 
All right. All right. Uh, so what you're going to do on your turn is you're going to draft a set of tiles, and you're always going to draft uh, one fish tile and one feature tile. Um, you can take them from anywhere on the board, but they must be next to each other. So if you take this black fish here, you're going to be taking either these two flowers or these red butterflies. It has to be adjacent. Um, and the goal, uh, what you're trying to do is where you're going to be making your own koi pond, and it's going to have, it's going to keep this checkerboard pattern. If you notice, it goes, there's a pattern that goes fish feature, fish feature. So when you're building in your pond, like for example, if I took this fish and this flower, those need to be next to each other like that. So fish will only touch features, features will only touch fish, but you will never have two features next to each other. Like, uh, here we go. Yeah, they'll, they'll never touch orthogonally. No, that, yeah. like, absolutely, right. diagonally they will. So that, that wouldn't be allowed. If I wanted to place this on a future turn, it would have to go next to a fish. Right. And then when you're playing uh, your pair, you don't have to keep them together. So the pair, you can split up and put them anywhere on the board as long as you follow fish feature, fish feature type uh, connection. Yeah. So uh, the next time if I drafted these two, right, I could, I don't have to keep these next to each other. Like you were saying, I could, I could oh, put okay. that over there, right? Once you, once you have your first two established. So you're, um, sorry, all of our koi ponds are going to take a variety of shapes. They don't have to be in this perfect square. I mean, they, you could have runs kind of uh, running off however, whatever makes the most sense from a scoring perspective. Yeah, yeah I, always, no. I always said it was like water, right? So it's just kind of does what it wants to do. All right. Yeah. So. Um, and so what, what the goal of the game here is each of these, each of these features are going to score your points at the end of the game. We have these reference cards over here to kind of, uh, run through what the different things do. So we have these solid color flowers, um, and that's just the single flower. Any of any of those are going to score based on whatever color flower they are. So this black flower here is going to be, you want to put it next to fish that have black in their coloring. Uh, there's four colors. There's red, yellow, black, and white, and every combination. So some fish are just a single color, and then some have two colors. Mm -hmm. So for example, here, this, this fish works with, with the black flower because it has black coloring. This fish up here, white and yellow, would not work for it. Um, so the goal is if you can, you're going to score two points for every fish that has that color next to it. If you're able to completely surround it with fish that have black, you'll get 12 points instead. <clears throat> so you kind of get bonus points for that. Uh, the dual flowers. So you would either there, get six or twelve points, basically. Like, so you would get yeah. six right here, or twelve if you completed the whole. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. And as, as um, long as they all contain the flowers' color, the, the color. The flowers yep. color yep. Yeah. Yeah, they, they would all have to be black. Yep. Flowers or fish. The the, oh, the fish, fish, the fish yeah, surrounding fish, the flower fish, would all have to have fish. black in them. Yes, they don't have to be fish. solid black. Like the, the the yellow and black would qualify, right. in like case. this fish and this one here. Okay, correct. Right. Um, the dual flowers, they're looking for either color. So this one is looking for either fish that have white or black. So you'll get two points for each fish. So for example, the ones that happen to be next to each of those would work because this one has white, this one has black. Uh, but if you're able to get a black and white fish, so it has both colors, that one's worth three points instead. So in order to max that one out at 12, you'd want to surround it with all black and white fish, but you can also just do either color. So it gives you a little bit more variety or um, options, I guess. Yeah, it's easier to score kind of mid-level with the dual flowers and harder to maximize. Yeah. Um, yep. But the single colors are kind of boomer bust. Yep. Um, and then the next one up, we have turtles, which we don't have any out yet. But turtles are just worth a straight flat five points. It doesn't matter what fish they're next to or where they are in the pond. It's just five points. Uh, frogs. Frogs are looking to eat dragonflies. So uh, what you're going to do is you're going to count one point for each individual dragonfly. 
that is on each adjacent fish. So if the if you had a frog next to this one right here, this fish would add three points to that frog. Um, every fish tile is going to either have dragonflies, babies, or a combination of dragonflies and babies. And speaking of babies, I'll jump down here for a second to the rocks that's on the second card. And the rocks is what counts the babies. It acts just like the frog, except it's looking for babies. So it'll count one point for every baby that's next to it. Uh, statues, uh, you've got four numbers at the bottom there. What you're trying to do with the statue is you're just trying to completely surround it. It doesn't matter what color the fish are. As long as you have something touching all four sides of the statues, you'll get the 10 points. Otherwise, it's going to be the other values seen there. And then butterflies. Butterflies are going to score two points for every fish tile that, you, that it sees in its line of sight that has its color. So, for example, this red one here, it's going to be looking the entire width and the entire height of your finished pond. And every single fish that has red is gonna score two points. So just where it's sitting on the board right here, it'd be getting two points from this fish, two points from that one. But let's just say, you know, this one ends up way down here. It's separated like that, right? These butterflies are still gonna see that and get you two points. So it's looking for the entire length of your pond. Oh, okay, so the whole thing, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Are and we, are, we, are we set to have, is our pond supposed to be four by four like this? I mean, not go, three by four. go any direction. As long as you keep your placement rules the same okay. where it's feature fish, feature yeah, fish, feature fish. Okay. So it can be really any shape. Just kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then the last thing that's going to score you points is uh, coins. All the solid colored fish have coins in the corner and you'll get one point for every coin. Uh, the reasoning behind that is that there's less there's less ways to use solid color fish than there are mixed fish. So you kind of get rewarded for collecting those as well. Okay, I like that. Yeah. Um, and I think that's it. So once once we start taking turns, I'll show you how the pond. Like, uh, you're, someone's going to draft tiles, and then we're going to fill in the pond, and I'll kind of explain how that works as we go. Okay. Uh, I don't know who wants to start. Whatever. Yep, looks like we've got uh, got a few folks folks jumping in. Looks like on Facebook we've got uh, Brian Clinkies here. So it's a fun Zen game for sure. Matt Paquette, graphic designer, artist extraordinaire, is uh, tuning in as well as uh, Jimmy Hudson from the Board Game Closet. So welcome, guys. All right, how how you want to start this? You want to go, um, Jeremy? You want to get well, it going? I, well, I know I was first. That's why I <laughs> make sure I, you know. I mean, we thank you. Rid of these tiles over here. Is that what's going on? I was ready. Is that the five? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I will just move yeah. those. I'll move those off. All right. Um, <clears throat> the rule book says that the first player is the most zen. Well, that's got to so be Jeremy. Oh, it's yeah. me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's, me all day, dude. it's me all day. Now, uh, they have to be adjacent to each other. When you oh, that's right. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Oh, we can make that happen. I mean, we, we got, we got, okay. Yeah, your you pull has to, the pull from the board has to be adjacent. So, yep. There you go. So this is uh this is how you replenish. This is kind of cool. So what you'll do is take the two from the middle and then use those to populate wherever the holes are. So this feature would move to here. Oh this, this fish would go to here, and the new tiles always come in in the middle. Oh the middle. yeah, this this kind of allows for some interesting uh like Sim like several turns of strategy because uh, you can kind of reposition things on the board or break up okay, certain man. combinations and stuff. It's pretty cool. Okay, man, that's different. Okay, right? <laughs> All right, man. that Danny right. guy. He knows now we're playing stuff. a game. Yeah. <laughs> now we're playing a game. All, All right, right, so going around the horn, it looks like uh, next up is going to be an Andrew. All right. Um... Look, we got a uh, couple other folks John joined in. Looks like Mondo Davis is here. Mondo, yeah. hello, sir. I just grabbed a couple of people from our community. And uh, so I'm going to say this. Hopefully, say this right. Uh, Vraha Carr says, uh, I actually got this game off BGG store today. Opened it, but I haven't played it yet. He's excited. I'll be in there in a second. I got kicked out. Got kicked yeah. out, right. too. Chad. <laughs> what? I'm by you, myself you here. Somebody stay in the room. Man. Stay in the room. <laughs> no, nah, I'm in here. I'm just chilling. Right. You, guys, you guys, come on back. We, we're sad. 
right <laughs> right when I wanted to take my turn, man. So uh, cool. oh, I guess you Jeremy wins. Me. Uh, <laughs> I just got you know, disconnected from the server as well. So we'll just jump back in, set the board up, and go. No okay. worries. TTS. This is um, the champ. This is how you do it. Uh, problems Every doing, day. It, Every doing day. it live, right? So <laughs> yeah. no one watch what I, I just it. named that uh, server and password. It. So you don't, don't jump in. <laughs> hey, so while we're waiting, um, Danny, what, what, um, tell, talk to us about what made you pick this theme. I you know, know that it, it, it um, started with something a little bit different. What, uh, why did we go with koi fish? Yeah, the original theme was uh, a pumpkin patch. And so you were kind of setting up a pumpkin patch. And really what that was was me wanting to draw like Tim Burton mixed with the Peanuts cartoon. So I was starting with an art style. And it worked. It was just weird and didn't really make sense. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> uh, a good friend of mine, uh, Ryan Sanders, pointed out, he's like, well, he because I had told him before that uh, my parents have a koi pond in their backyard and I've always wanted to make a game about koi fish. And he's like, well, this game is perfect for it. Like you're, you're, you know, you're basically building a pond. You could have, you know, like it just, it just, the, the flow, the shape is like, like you kind of said, like a water, it makes a different shape pond every time. And you know, it was one of those. Us in, by the way? What's that? Can you invite us in? I can't get back in. Yeah. I can't get back in either. You don't see the server? Nope. Mm-mm. That's weird. I just wonder if I need to restart TTS. Yeah, I was already. I, I can't, I can't nope. see any servers right now. I was sitting here setting it up. I here can I'm... see servers. I just can't see yours, Jen. Uh, let me jump out. Go to main menu. Stop back. Jump back in. Yeah, so yeah. Ryan, Ryan kind of got you planted the seed. Yeah, for the tuning in on that. Yeah. So what's it's that's cool because. I was fiddling around. I played um, uh, kind of roll and write from um, Stephen Aramini that was kind of underwater themed. And then it got me kind of inspired to do a quick little kind of design exercise with koi fish. And so I posted, you know, super basic rules and, uh, you know, really terrible clip art on i think twitter and then ryan was like hey did do you know that danny's making a koi pond game yeah <laughs> you get you gotta see the server now just to make sure uh, um not yet bro no it's just 25 right yeah hmm, hmm. well i got it let's see if i can get in no server Oh, sad. I don't want to start setting these things oh, up. Oh, there we go. No there we go. There we go. I got it. All right. I'm going to start setting these up again then, since you guys can hopefully see it. We're connecting. Fingers crossed. There you go. Come on, baby. And the password is 1234, right? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> It's the same, it's the same as my bank account. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, Last four of your social, right? <laughs> you know, I love what I love about design is like the story behind the game. Uh, you know, because some people, um, some people just have such a long journey. They go through three or four themes or, you know, they're kind of not into the theme. Like the publisher says something and it just works. You know, yeah. so it's kind of cool to see that. I like I liked hearing those stories. Why is it failing? Yeah, was it now? Now looking back at it, I have I still have that pumpkin prototype, and I'm like, I don't. What was I even thinking? This makes no sense. If it just had to be, it had to be about fish in a pond. Yeah, uh, we're gonna try this one more time, and if for some reason it won't work for y'all, then what? What? One of you guys host the table. Like Andrew hosts the table, and then yeah, I can I'm host done. it if it doesn't work. So one more time. Well, Danny, you still got cool pumpkin art. I was, I was in there, with, right? I was it, in there. It timed you out. And then it kicked me out. Yeah. Let's try it again. I would say just go ahead and you uh, put it out, man. Switch it out. Do you want me to give it a go? Yeah. Yeah. I would say switch it out. Uh, it says load and complete. You should see it. Hmm. Closing. Timed out. 
Uh, this is fascinating television. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> <laughs> well, chat, tell us about some other stuff you uh, you guys got coming out here for 21. Yeah, so uh, there's... Oh, there we go. Andrew's in. You guys should see it then, hopefully. Mm -hmm. There we go. Awesome. Let's rebuild this thing then. So, yeah, so started sharing out some production proofs I got in very recently for Tutankhamen, which is exciting. Yeah, so Tutankhamen is a Reiner Knizia old game from about 30 years ago. It was like a Spiel game. Um, I think it was the runner up to uh, modern art. So you got first and second place that year. So, which is awesome. <laughs> um, but uh, redid that one, kind of changed some of the rules up a little bit, kind of, um, you know, obviously put uh, our touch on it from an art and kind of component standpoint and uh, comes out. Well, backers will start getting it hopefully after Chinese new year, but uh, retail will be later this spring. Okay. And then lots of other fun stuff in the works. Um, um, Chad, fun stuff is not a release, sir. We want details. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, all right, Jeremy, take your turn. So, for uh, first, so one th one fun stuff coming up. So, Mondo Davis is on the um, here watching as well. So, Mondo designed a game called Color Field, uh, which also features his wife's art uh, on it. It's an abstract kind of painting game. Mm -hmm. uh, so that one will be a tile game. So that one's going to be a lot of fun coming up here um, later this spring as well. Uh, I'm also bringing back Raw, uh, the Knizia auction game. Uh, that will happen oh, nice. later this year. Okay. Um, we've also got a another Zen-like game. We have a kind of a Euro uh, Zen-like game uh, called Garden Bow uh, by Dave Abelson, which is about plants. So we'll do the core game, oh, then we'll wow. go some plants. Um, got a, another Christmas game coming out. This is kind of breaking news. I don't think oh, anyone's actually has even known this yet. So this coming holiday, look for another Christmas title. Uh, another small box game, just like Christmas Lights. It'd be a little $10 game. Uh, we're yeah, just now starting Lights. starting art for that. Low key. Such that one's good, game. man. I'm, I'm enjoying that one. That it's uh, The cards are laid out like a Christmas tree. Yeah, it, it forms a Christmas tree on the board with the cards. Cool, you got man. presents down below, and it's all ornament-based. So, so when that, this moves, this goes up here, right? Yep. Uh, yes, sir. Yep. This goes here. Yep. Mm -hmm. We grab from here. Then bring another one out. And turn it over. Okay. Uh, yeah, that one's really, really cool, like from a table presence perspective. And Matt Riddle and Ben Pinchback designed it. Um, so it's uh, it's a lot of it's a lot of fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this action. See what happens with this. Among a few other things that um, you know, we'll be disclosing later. Uh, on it's me, been busy. it's my busy year, so yeah. I'm excited. Hmm. You zoom in so everybody sees the beautiful art. So, not only did Danny design this, also illustrated it. Which oh, is you amazing. did look at you, right? Motivated. Oh. All in on the design, all in on the design. I love it. <laughs> all in, yeah. Um, am I up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it gave me an excuse to buy uh one of the new ipads that can use the apple pencil so i could <laughs> do that so that was that's kind of what i did i'm, I'm glad i could fund that for you <laughs> <laughs> he's like oddly enough his his advance was the exact same cost as the ipad was, uh... <laughs> well danny got got uh royalties from design and he got paid for the art man it's how, that's how you make money how you do, Just it. do it all now you got to be a publisher soon, man. Just uh, that's too scary. That's what you guys do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's why I need a team. Like I'm not going to do content creation. That scares me. Jeremy's got that covered, and you guys do publishing. This goes here. Oh no 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 no! It's so anything that's left in the middle gets moved out. So that just that one would just go out. Just that one, and then you would refill the middle. Okay. Oh, I'll grab the whole thing. Okay. I like that. I like that. That's some tile drafting, man. <laughs> oh. Nice. We're here and see what uh, Andrew's working on with his little pond. 
Yeah. Got some baby koi action happening. It's got nothing. And uh, <laughs> absolutely nothing. This is Zen like, Jeremy. It's supposed to be Zen. <laughs> combat game. Be Zen, darn it. This oh. one of Blood Rage. <laughs> Where are the miniatures in this game? What the yeah. hell? <laughs> it's like Ruik Donakiev. It's almost the exact same thing. Just, just... Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's see, I want this one with all the babies. I do see. I see that. But, I, see uh, that. I don't like the stuff it's next to, so I'm gonna have to get creative. We're gonna go with that, and we're gonna take this one, and then I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna put them. Okay. So then this will move out to here. That goes to there, and I will. Uh, See how poorly I can draft the next two for my little pond. I mean, Danny's supposed to win this, right? I mean, he designed the game. Right? I mean, it's in, it's in the rule book and like my contract. I'm supposed to win <laughs> yeah. every time. You know? <laughs> so it's I think okay I'm like, to come in last when you're showing everybody your game. <laughs> oh, all, all the time. Farming that. All the time, man. I think I'm going to do those two. So I will start splitting mine. So I'll put, you know what? I'll put that there. We'll go a little out over here. Speaking of Rurik, um, oh. I was talking to yep. Stan the other day, and uh, he's got a really interesting special project coming up. Yeah, no, I got it. He wants me to play it. I got it. Yeah, man. We he just asked today. me the other day. It's he just asked. Good. Actually, I'm sorry. Today, actually, he just asked me. He's like, I got another one, pretty man. Good, man. All right. He, that stands, stands a talented dude. He is. Uh, He's overrated, but I love him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so we we have uh, there's another one that's not really been announced yet. So we'll just have all kinds of spoilers tonight. So yeah. the um, it's finished development. It's, it is pending art. Well, it's done. Um, the mech is a yeah. mech yeah. kaiju. It's a mech deck builder uh, by Stan. Uh, and it is a simultaneous play deck builder, so it's yeah. gonna be really interesting. I played that one in early stages, so let's see, wild, see, man. see where it's at. I, I get too tense, I'm like, ah, you know? <laughs> <laughs> ah this is you, tough now. You, you still haven't picked? No, I haven't. This is tough now. <laughs> you know, hurry you up and relax, stuff, Jeremy. Hurry up and relax. Once you start committing, <laughs> you know, I don't like committing. Yeah, so one of the one of the interesting things about this gameplay is, and Jeremy, you'll see this a lot, is you're left, like, you can kind of hate draft if you wanted to, but your opponents are going to have options on their turn. Yeah. A, a lot. Um, yeah. And so there's that, uh, it, it doesn't behoove you necessarily. It sometimes does, but not not as strongly as it would in other drafting games. Yeah. Um, and, and on your turn, you're going to have... A lot of options so it, it does feel sometimes it does feel a little tough to commit so because it's, it's an organic thing man it's living and breathing i know so, um, that's right if the, if if uh it'd be kind of cool if you could see the transparent tiles in the uh ntts but it's just uh, like, you yeah. know like i, I don't even know how i would build that I don't even know how you would build it either, but I was just like, yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> I'm trying to reach. There we go. So this is all three pounds of it. It is a heavy game. Yeah. Here, put put uh, put it up on the big screen there, Chad. Change your... Uh, yeah, wait, let me try to get a, a tile. So how many pounds is it? Three? It's, oh, no. You know man. what? It's, Actually, it dips, you know what? At, it dips at five. That's what it is. Here we go. Uh, Let's see if I can make... Oh, here we go. So that's the. this is the middle thing as a mat. So neoprene mat for your middle thing. And then your tiles, if we can get this to focus and show. Come on now. Kind of see it. So these are dual layered acrylic. So you actually have, makes a three dimensional aspect to it. Yeah. That is not going to focus. We got some good pictures on on the web, but uh, it's absolutely amazing the production that went into this one from Andrew. Thanks, man. So that, that idea actually came from um, Emerson Matsuuchi. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. I, we, we, it's, um, Emerson, Emerson you, if you guys know him, he's uh, 
all the century games and uh, pretty prolific designer. He, um, oh we, we, we sat down and played this, I think at Dice Tower 19, I want to say. And um, he's like, you know what? It would be cool if you did th this, like made it look 3D. And I said, I can do that. <laughs> so, um, you, skipped, you skipped me, Chad, but I was going to go for something else anyway. <laughs> Oh, I, did, I thought you went. I'm sorry. No, I was, I was re redoing the center. Let me get there back to the middle. I don't, think it, like... I don't think it changed your turn at all. Oh, Maybe awesome. it did. No, Let's probably see. not. I was okay. going to mess it up either way. All right. We'll just, and, we'll just fill it out on the outside. So the, um, you know, the idea was there, um, but uh, it was really hard to find a manufacturer to do this. That, yeah. that uh, Nobody's... I mean, like printing on acrylic has been done, but because you can kind of see what's on the back of the tile through the top, nobody's really done that, and yeah. it was it was a challenge. But um, you know, we uh, I think I think it came out pretty darn nicely. It's a really pretty game in person. Yeah. So, so uh, Jimmy Hudson asks this is a good question for uh, for Danny. Ask how does the game change for solo play? Mm. Uh, for solo play, you you play the same exact way. So you're going to play as if you were playing with any number of players. Uh, and then you go against a, you actually go against all three levels of AI at the same time. They just kind of add their scores up a little differently. Uh, but it's real simple. You you flip over, you flip over a fish tile uh, off the deck when it's their turn. They're going to draft any fish that look exactly like that one. Uh, if there aren't any, then they'll look for features. So basically what they're doing is they're just kind of drafting and collecting and they have their own cheaty way of scoring. But, I just want to take a break to talk about how awesome my turn just was. Okay. You just crush it. <laughs> this, is, this is not bad. This is actually looking pretty good. You got oh, yeah. Light, yeah. Oh, solid, bro. Yellow. I just take oh, right here, dude. Left here and take a look. At so right here. That's not okay. scoring. You know what? I don't need feedback. I don't That's, need not That's not scoring. That's not scoring. critical feedback. Okay. Solid turn. I, I know I, I've I've taken one bad choice here so far. Here I've taken one real bad choice. <laughs> so there's there is a slightly different mentality in the solo play. Yeah, there is. Um, because typically you kind of want to collect like things in your in your board mm -hmm. or in your pond, but um, because the 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 rival koi keepers snap up all of the matching tiles that are on the pond. You, yeah. Um, that match the tile you flip over. You want to, you want to have that central pond as diversified as possible. So they take as few tiles on their turn as possible. And what that means is your pond has to be as diversified as possible, which it, it's tough. It's tough. I've, I think I've beat the, the expert like, twice <laughs> i've played i've played the game a lot the solo mode a lot so all right let's see how you can uh score your little board over here grab some stuff and yeah we'll see we'll get here see how you're doing getting there man you got some dragonfly action happening that's yeah, good got, okay. uh scoring pretty well there but yeah as far as what you're doing on your turn you're still drafting the two tiles the same and the, the ai turn goes really quick but andrew's right it does kind of change your mentality about what you would normally go for yeah all right back over to me yeah i'll try to skip you this time so i appreciate it i appreciate it <laughs> i'm gonna come in uh, last i can skip denny every time and probably still lose this game <laughs> <laughs> uh i like i like this this pair right next to each other I'm gonna go with that. Pair. i was going i was gonna get this and the red and white fish are the ones that are actually the kohaku's I believe. Is that correct, Andrew? That is correct. That is the Japanese term for the red and white koi fish. Yeah. Oh. The literal translation of the word is amber, but this is the name of the variety. Uh, there's also all kinds of other ones, Becco, and yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. Um, Let's see. Noticeably missing from the middle uh, or from the selection of fish are a subspecies of carp called butterfly koi, which have these really kind of cool flowy fins. Um, yeah. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see if those make an appearance at some point. Uh, we'll see. 
<laughs> Did you wink at the camera when you said that? So it was. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness oh actually what i think i think i grabbed that towel that was yeah why am there i still go. grabbing that towel i'm just not gonna touch anything you guys do it just just let go okay. let go let it go there we go i'm not doing too well down here i gotta step it up this is not looking good yeah you gotta step it up man all right <laughs> that. step it up well, well I, mean, I want was... you to step it up. Okay, this this right here. <laughs> Where's that flip button? All right, here we go. Uh, what are you grabbing? There's a couple turtles out there. That's like an easy five. That's like it a is lay... an easy five, but that that's five like, is that's not that's a layup point. layup that's, point. That right is there. the layup. <laughs> right, it is the layup. I usually wind up taking turtles to like fill in holes where I screwed up, or that's yeah. exactly where I wish I had one right now. Yeah. Or to like, I really want the fish next to it, so it's kind of they're good in game too, like because it's just an easy five points. You have to well, think about and it. And on the edge, if you got something that's not yep. really, just yeah, that one, on that one stays on the edge, and then we just fill in the middle. Okay. All right. Whoop. <laughs> sort of flipped, and then it missed its snap point. Oh boy. Oh boy. What do you got here? What you drinking, Jeremy? Now, the game that they're looking at. Do they're now is there an expansion that's that's in this package or a mini expansion, anything like that outside the box? Deluxe edition, uh anything like that? Nope. Okay. You get the full you get the full experience in the box, man. Okay. We don't want to We were gonna do anything. uh we were thinking about doing a cardboard version, but uh, very few people wanted it, so it didn't really make sense from a financial perspective to print so many. You didn't do minis? No, no <laughs> miniatures. Exclusive koi fish miniature. Uh, <laughs> so. There you go, man. There's your miniature. Yeah, there you go. There's, you there's your mini. <laughs> there you go. Uh, all right. Um, All righty, that's so Andrew's see. working on over there. Oh, you just took the middle. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah. Okay. I so I had this weird like flower thing, and I needed something that hit both of them, and I didn't want to wait around for it. Right. I got impatient. You do what you need to do. Look at that. Impatient. Everybody's pawns coming together. Mm. Why is mine the only one that looks all janky? It's like <laughs> yeah, it's bad, but it's looking off. It's looking off. Uh, I'm gonna. Take this one again. I like these guys. Wow. Candy, candy cane fish. And I'll take the first turtle. Wow. I like it. Okay. Okay. Oh. I like it. Pull that fish out. I really like the black and white koi fish the way that I do works. too. That's really cool. I was just going to say, I like this. Yeah. I like yeah. this black and red. Yeah. That was like my favorite combo when I was a kid, like wearing colors. It was just black, all black, red. Red. I, I just love black and red so much. Were you a Chicago Bulls fan at all? Uh, absolutely not. I really hated no. the Bulls. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, I he wore red and black. Fan. I was a very confusing person. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, Jordan. I was like, boo. No. What are you no. doing? Dude? <laughs> right. I grabbed that. I lovingly call those the Darth Maul fish. Yeah. Nice. The My <laughs> girlfriend calls the Darth red and yellow fish. ones the Winnie, Poo Winnie the Pooh fish. Winnie the Pooh fish? Yeah. Darth the red and yellow fish. ones. There we go. There's another turtle. No, there's the other turtle. Different, The same points, just different picture. I got to make like sure. Got to show like it off. Pictures. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Since it's, um, you know, it's about Danny's art here. Look at that. Mm, so he's good. Like, he's like chilling underwater. So like normally in the 3D version of the tile, this would be very, very obvious that like this piece is on top of the ripple effects and this guy's all down below the water. It's uh really 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 stands out. Yeah, the turtles were the most turtles and rocks are the ones that were really interesting to try to figure out because we wanted to we wanted to make sure you could see above and below water, try to get that effect across. Uh, Steven Aramini join asking who's winning. 
Probably yeah. Dan. It's probably Danny. You know the answer to that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although Jeremy's not going to run for his money. He's got a good looking pond going. I got, I got him. I got him over here. <laughs> I got him. All right. Let's see here. Oh, man. The good looking pond you got over there, man. It's very colorful. I think it's a little red, yellow dominant, but you know, it'll work. He's, he's running a McDonald's <laughs> toy pond over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got free co- We got Grimace cookies over here. Grimace <laughs> cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Go a little old school. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. Super, wow. A little yeah. baggy. You get like four in there, like those animal cracker cookies, whatever. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> now, now the kids get like board games and a hockey yeah. game, you know, right? A PlayStation uh, 5, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I want one. <laughs> you know? right. Oh man, seven hundred dollars to get my son a PlayStation. I mean, uh, uh, Xbox, really? an Xbox One. Oh my gosh! But Ooh. cool that I found out that when you buy stuff like that, you can buy it at a police station and exchange it there. And it's like it's like a safe place to exchange stuff. Mm-hmm. So they actually oh, have spots cool. like that at the police police station where the cameras are on you. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I was like, okay, so it's not so shady. You just go there and meet at the police station. It's pretty cool. Oh man, I just I gotta do this little frog farm over here. Yeah, that's a lot of <laughs> lot of frogs. That's a move, huh? That's a move. Oh, there you go. A red and white fish just for my turn. Oh you my gosh. Be, you gotta be kidding. <laughs> Thank me. you. I'm gonna get lots of points off of that dual flower. Okay, that. Nice. Oh, you almost maxed it out, man. Well, I have to take that. Yeah. Definitely. So let's let's go ahead and take that, and then I'll take that red flower. I mean, just he's just invested. See, the yeah, thing I'm is, gonna, it's going to take a turn, and then there's going to be no more red fish for you to take. Right. And while my like better diversify over here, <laughs> Chad is diversifying ahead of time. I'm ready for anything. <laughs> just whatever happens. I'm like the, I'm like the the koi pond of like the misfit rejects. You know, it's like, come on, y'all, come down here, hang out. <laughs> oh, I could score. Ooh, come on, this, this is work. Like this little guy is not too bad right here. Oh, of course. Then I'm stuck. Oh, you know what I can do? I can do this, mm-hmm. and then I could do that and put that there. That wow, not Solid. too shabby. You know Solid. what that is, y'all? That right there is called skill. <laughs> You're watching and learning. <laughs> there it is. All right. Hmm. So if if Jeremy beats you, what's the consequence, Chad? If if Jeremy, if whoever Jeremy beats, having not played, and us having played this game uh, many times, it's not even fair. Because if he well, if he beats me, it's not really much of a challenge. I'm, like, I'm just not very good <laughs> at games. I think the uh, if he beats Danny, though, I think we have to have like a dance off or something oh like yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh allison parkland asks is this one out in retail yeah as brian also answered it february 10th so a couple of weeks at your favorite Ooh. friendly local game stores so make sure they secure you a copy you can also visit a website pick up one as well there you go this is, uh, this is very like this is very chill. It's really smooth. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, this is just like having like some malt liquor, man. <laughs> <laughs> you should have put that on the box. Missed opportunity. <laughs> it's like oh, man. <laughs> playing Kohaku is on? like drinking Colt Forty Five. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the the second edition box cover quote. Just right yeah. across there. Jeremy H. Jeremy Stick on the game. Yeah. Kohaku, it does it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy Howard. This gets the, the smoothest the ball chill. seal. The smoothest I mean, ball yeah, seal. Smooth edition. <laughs> Kohaku smooth edition. <laughs> Ridiculous. Jeremy, Jeremy you, need a, you need a smooth as malt liquor, like seal of approval, like <laughs> stamp for people who are playing games. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not keeping up with my pan and scan duties. Here we go. Looks like Andrew went. Got some more white and white I, flowers. I, I diversified, dude. I went I went solid black over here, man. Huh? Starting three butterflies. Well, you grabbed it because of the butterflies. Look at that. You got three butterflies little on the frog. Flies, little dragonfly action. Oh, yeah, dragonflies. Well, no, I'm also I'm peeping this little corner right here for a black a black feature. We'll see. 
See if it comes up. Well, there's one right there. Yep. See, uh, all right. right. Where are those red and white fish now, man? They're yeah. gone. So I'm gonna have to get grab them. Got them all. I'm gonna have to get into babysitting here. Oh yeah, because I got your rock here. So this rock that uh, he's putting his next to, if you missed the intro for how it scores. So this one will score one point for each baby koi that is adjacent to it. So this one has three points. Plus I'll get an extra point for that gold coin. There are three here. Wow, four, there are three there. You're really maxing out that. And there are three. Yeah. yeah. I think you've played this. Uh, a couple times. <laughs> a couple times. All right. Let's see if I don't mess something up down here. Let's see. I could do. Ooh. I could do. Oh, I feel like I need. I need that. So that's some good stuff right there. And then I feel like. I could put this down. That's not bad there. Going back to talking about the how just chill and relaxing the game is to play. It makes even more sense to have it be the, the koi pond than it was with the haunted pumpkin patch or one the, <laughs> the original the original it, nothing nothing made sense anymore when once once I put this theme on, I was like, of course, what was I thinking before? But uh, you're right. right, you're right, Andrew. I still have all art for a haunted yeah. pumpkin patch game, yeah. so I gotta figure that out. <laughs> yeah. We we I was demoing this game at Gen Con. And um, there was a, a young lady that was, um, she was deaf. And she was, she said that she enjoyed the fact that she didn't necessarily feel obligated to have to try to listen to table talk and, yeah. and pay attention. She just could kind of zone out and do her thing. It was a, that was a really surreal experience for me. Yeah. With, uh, demoing it for her. That was cool. Ah, uh, going for the layup, turtle. Mm. Hmm. All right. Yeah, uh, Stephen says he, he says it's great, but you need to um, see this in person and feel the tiles to get a full experience. It's really good production, and I honestly I agree with that because this aesthetic is. You know, it's something to look at. It has a table presence to it. Um, and, you know, that's something you can't always emulate on here unless it's like gigantic chunky pieces and things like that. I mean, there's some right. limitation with electronics, but like I understand what you're saying. Just looking at it, you want to you know, look down at the beautiful art and stuff like that. And Yeah, it's, it's a thing. It's always a thing. I'm just happy we have an opportunity to play games like this. Um, For sure. You know, at all. You know, so some people can't even make it to their stores. At least they can see this, play it, and then they can go to your website and buy it. Right. You know, this is actually, um, I, sh I shared a link out the other day. I'll, I'll, so if you go check out our Twitter feed, you'll, you'll find the link to the 25th Century Games workspace on TTS. You mm -hmm. can actually go play this, this game right now, you know, for free on there and check it out. That's sweet, man. How dare you care about your customers? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, it's like it, it's like one of those things where, like, once you play it, like, like it, once you play it once, you're like, man, I have to have this game. Like, that's you know, yeah. That's I, 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 this so. is one of those games that I would like. You know, there was a game I played earlier that was like last year. It's called Cascadia, and like, oh I yeah, would just play it. Like, I would just play it like three times in a row. <laughs> like, it's just that's like wild. this feels like that type of game where I just the setup seems easy. I would just play it. Two or three times in a row. Like, it's, there's no reason to like put it away. I, okay, let's play it again. So that's so. where being a content creator comes in handy because uh, folks like me who backed it on Kickstarter are have to still wait to get access to it. So yeah. it's, it does. <laughs> it does, looks amazing though. So it's uh, the flat out folks do. Yeah, it. that, that whole crew stuff. makes makes great stuff, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they they really like, and they do a really good job of giving access to their games, which is great. I love that. I just really love that they do that. Because they don't have to. Um, let's see here. All right, I'm going to grab this. And then... Hmm. I feel like I just may grab, okay. a, grab a little turtle. 
I never mentioned it, I don't think, but the game ends when this stack of fish runs out. Uh, but a way to count it is in a four-player game, you're going to have 12 total fish and 12 total features. Or if you do math, 24 total tiles. <laughs> <laughs> if, you're, if you're all mathy. Yeah. Right. Settle down, Danny. You're, you're getting away from me here. <laughs> you're all your brain. Jeez. I will. I will say. I just added twelve and twelve and said twenty-four, and I was like, God, I hope that's right. Yeah. <laughs> the whole thing about don't do math live. I have all the research that. Get mathy live. That's what I tell you. Just don't get mathy live, buddy. Yeah. Save yourself some stress. Um. He's like, I can't add twelve and twelve, but I promise the game is balanced. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> okay. Do that. Here. That's not bad. You got the three babies there, and was it two right there? It's a good spot to drop it. What do we got? What do we got coming out? Ooh. I feel three losses coming on, one winner. <laughs> <laughs> I also uh, ran victorious. <laughs> Danny, What's that? I don't want to give that to you, man. I don't hey, want to. I'm actually not interested anymore. Look, I closed it off. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I'll take um, it for the red, but I got options. I'm going to just stick you with a, hope, a pretty crappy combination. So this will move the butterfly out. Yeah, man. I'm going to do that. There we go. See, now that, now that thing is not next to anything. Uh, yeah, that's not great anymore. Yeah. <clears throat> well, look at you with the hate drafting in the Zen game. <laughs> no, I am. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, hate drafting. I'm, I'm doing good with my, my daycare over here in the corner, I'll tell you. I've been getting all the rocks and babies. I might just keep that. You are a little rock heavy. We'll do it. We'll see how it works for us. Do you like that? Rock heavy? Come yeah, on now. See that. Yeah, I, I, I decided not to care. I decided not to care. On uh, that. You come for the game, you stay for the jokes. I decided. Keep keep your day job. I yeah. just said that didn't happen. <laughs> it was like, that didn't happen. He's better than that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Like oh oh man I almost missed it that's like perfect right there oh that no oh, wow yeah you almost missed it. ooh <laughs> what shall you do it oh ooh <laughs> nice ooh, move dude so spicy what's the uh, beverage of choice tonight sir tonight we are um I met a lady her last name was Dalmore and we fell in love <laughs> mm. So a Dalmore, this is the 12. I polished it off the 15 way too fast. Um, it's beautiful. Shout out to my mom. She's so great. That was great. She was looking out for me big time. Uh, let's see here. All right, what you going to do? Mm, that looks really good. That yellow. Ooh. But then the yellow with the yellow. Hmm. I apologize. Yeah, I could do some damage. Anyone can hear my children fighting with each other and my wife telling them not to in the background. <laughs> it's, it's, it's part of uh, it's part of daily life now for most people, though, right? Being able to hear everyone's family yeah. in the background. <laughs> Families, oh. like dogs, you know, all that yeah. stuff. I think the number one most uttered phrase in the United States for 2020. Uh, your, your mic's off. You're muted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're muted. <laughs> are, we, are we getting close? We're down to uh, only 10 tiles. Oh, Lord. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Right. Let's see what Andrew's working on over here. Let folks watching at home see his little pond. My came a little unglued over here. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure mm. it out. A lot, of, a lot of white and yellow. Going for another yellow. Come on, buddy.
right. Okay, over to me. Well, let's see. I got some flowers I need to close off. This we're running out of red. We're gonna go here. And oh, what happened? Why is it stuck to my hand? Get back over here. <laughs> Uh, right. TTS physics, man. I know. Oh, boy. There it goes. All right. Okay. <laughs> it took a while, but I got it. All right. Almost to the final round. Hmm. What to do? What to do? I got the butterfly here. So maybe I can grab... So I could grab this and that. So I put that once, there. once it gets back to Jeremy, we'll have two two picks each left. So make them count. All right. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> Yeah, so this is that time where you decide, oh, am I just going to take that five points or, or those five points or oh, this red closes it out, though. This red closes the 12 points out. And I can make this a, so that'd be 12. And this would be six. Mm -hmm. So there you go. I was hoping that statue was still going to be around. Wow, one more red left in the chamber. Did that grab the whole stack of fish? <laughs> oh. There it goes. Huh. Next on the uh, review. Whoa, that was weird audio. Did we lose Chad? <laughs> Did we lose everybody? No. Okay. Jeremy's no. still there. I'm still here. All right. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of how what my last turn is going to be here at this point. You know, it's that last turn quietness. You know, what you got? What you got, bro? <laughs> don't worry, I'm winning. Just stop. Just don't. Just stop don't looking. Look. Oh, you can see my hand? Just I'll count your fish. Don't even look. Uh, so it's, oh, it's, it's it, we're not waiting on me, right? It's Andrew's turn. Oh, wait. Oh, did they all get kicked out? I don't know. Well, no, they're still in the game. I just don't know if I think their audio got kicked out. I, I see no Chad. I see just me and you, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, it's our own show. So, so we own 25th Century Games now. I'm pretty sure that's how this works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am CEO. Yeah. <laughs> That's I don't know how that works. If by the way, if how does he get how does he <laughs> That's what I'm saying? Like, how how he's he's on here? I don't know. Hey, there we go. He's back. I'm back. Uh, I the bad news is that Jeremy is now the CEO of your company. We gave oh, it to him when yeah. you walked out on us. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Awesome, and I'm gonna go. To, I'm gonna go let you let you handle the day to day now. <laughs> <laughs> active, <Awesome. laughs> active right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, is it me? Uh, it should be. 
Should be Andrew. I can't tell if he went yet or not. One, two, three. Uh, it should Andrew. be Andrew's turn. Yeah, it's Andrew's turn. <laughs> he said give away some free games before Chad comes back. <laughs> <laughs> I see how it is. Look at that. No need to pre-order. We're giving away ten copies of Toot and Gum. <laughs> can you guys, we're gonna airship them right away. <laughs> That's right. We're gonna FedEx them all overnight. <laughs> you know, <laughs> spare no expense. <laughs> I can hear you just now, Andrew. Okay. Yeah, we got you. Okay. Good. Mm. Okay, we are we are at the almost at the finish line here. Mm -hmm. Anyone wanted white flowers? That's apparently what we're offering. That's what we're offering. Uh, you to know? Eh, kinda. Kinda. I'd rather have the. Yeah, we'll go with the statue. We'll just take that and a statue. Wow. Okay. T Ten points right there, Danny. Mm-hmm. Nice. Hmm. Guess I could. Uh, I don't know what to do now. Um. Like I should probably grab and I could do I could do this and that was mine. <laughs> that was mine. Look at that. I think less of you because of that. <laughs> nope, nope. Not nope, quite. Nope, nope. Yeah, 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 hold on. That one's gotta come over. Uh oh, uh, what just happened? Train wreck at the uh, <laughs> toy pond. There we go. Oh, Jeremy served up on a silver platter I for know. you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you and, uh, I think that's pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, this one? Is that what you're gonna go well, for? I mean, well, either one, basically. Um, uh, I mean, I have yellows. I have I have all the color options. Um. But I would probably, I mean, wow, it's a white. Well, I would probably want to take yellow. So yellow, this will give me a coin. But I do want these baby fish here. Mm. Oh, yeah, and yellow. Be a good mm -hmm. combo. And there's no baby fish, though. Yellow. Oh, there's this one here. Oh, yeah, it's got a two. Yeah, I'll do this. Oh, that was like dragonflies. Yeah, you don't need dragonflies up there. Any babies? And then I think I'll do straight five points because I don't have. Yeah, yeah. White. That's four. Yeah, you're not gonna get more than five on the white. Yeah. So I'll just put this over here. All right. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. What we got? All right. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah. See how it's looking for your pond over there? What we got, man? So I really want to close off this yellow flower here. So those are my two options there. Some baby koi. I'm not really, yeah, I'm not invested in the baby koi this game. Yeah. You didn't even pick up any rocks. Yeah, I that's have all. None. I have, I have a, no rocks in my pond. You're going yeah, to. Oh, Jeremy's got some. Otherwise, I've got, I believe there's only six sets of rocks. So we're looking at them all. I've got four. Jeremy's got one, and there's one right there. You're going to want to kick one of those rocks when you lose. 
Hopefully you don't have bare feet. <laughs> this guy. This guy. All right, so I like that. And it's my last turn, man. I got to make it count, you know? I just, I got to do yellows here, don't I? Yeah. All right, what is that? That'll give me two. Eh, you got to do it. All right. Too, too, too many points to, to pass up, man. I just, just hand Danny those rocks and baby koi, though. All right, uh, Danny. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome, Daniel. You're welcome. What are you going to pick up? Uh, well, I also have a statue I need to finish. Yeah, right there. Give me more points. I think I'm going to just do that. So let's just, man, yeah. So we'll do the. We'll go ahead and take that anyways, even though I was making it seem like I wasn't going to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. Beautiful. All right, final turn of the game. It's going to be the most impressive too. Here it comes. Let's see. Not a bad color of butterfly for your pond over there. If you can line it up. That is not a bad You could get eight color. points out of that bad boy, dude. If I put it right here, right? Ten points. Mm. Oh, no, it's eight. You're right. That one doesn't have black. Yeah. And then I could put it this Ooh. here. Ooh. Ooh. There you go. Dude, you did some damage with the butterflies this time around, man. Yeah, let's put it right there. There we go. Yeah, there you go. There you go. This is a wow. little more symmetric. All right. Wow. So now we go into scoring them up. Uh, Danny, Danny, you got any advice on best way to score? Uh, well, when you're playing in person, the scoreboard's fine, but on tabletop simulator, <laughs> that sounds like a nightmare. I see you put calculators in the corner. Uh, yeah, everybody grab your counter. Normally what you would do is you got two sets of these, um, these little wooden meeple fish, and then you would just kind of, as you're scoring your points, move – you know, the 10 and the lower number up, but yep. through the magic of Tabletop Simulator, where is the other one? Where and then it? I actually just like to read it like a book. You just go left to right, top to bottom, and you're just jumping from feature to feature. And then at the very end, you, you add up one point for every coin. So I don't know if we want to just do our own or if you wanted to go through to show uh, it as an example. Here, why don't, you, why don't you score yours, and then we'll kind of watch you count it out. Okay. So up here, I have two four points for this flower. Uh, the turtle's just worth five. The red and white flowers are going to score two for every red or white, or if they're both colors like these ones, they'll be three instead. So that's three, six, nine, ten, eleven. Another turtle for five. Um, this red flower is surrounded by four fish that have red. So that's the, I get the full 12 points for that one. You get to hear every single click. <laughs> <laughs> I was hearing it in my own headphones. I'm like, oh, my God. Everybody's uh, just quietly listening. You click through know. this calculator. <laughs> Uh, statue is completely surrounded. Didn't matter what color they were, so that's just ten. Oh, gave myself a bonus point. Okay, uh, and then for the rocks, I'm going to count one point for every baby. So this set of rocks is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, and this one, I think I maxed out. One, two, three, that's twelve. Four, six, nine, yeah, twelve. Nice. Wow. I think you're going to lap me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another completed statue for another 10 points. And then coming down here with these rocks, that's three, six, nine. Um, that one is eight for those rocks. Wow. 
And then we've got much scoring. <laughs> Holy cow. And then last, last but not least, one, two, three, four, five coins. Oh, you That's broke a hundred. Holy cow. Wow. What a massive game, dude. Wow. That is, Holy cow. That is, I feel that is amazing. That. Breaking a hundred in a four player game is not, not super common. I don't want to um I don't want to score mine. I think it's, it's, <laughs> I want a table flip right now. Right? <laughs> just don't want to do it. It's just not oh. All right, let's see. If I, I mean, we can count ours up, I guess. Yeah, Jay, everybody do the run real quick, then we'll compare scores, and we'll try to see if I can get mine totaled up here. So I should... Uh, you guys are all uh, smart. Don't have your you nice texture microphone. Mine. This is like thrilling television right now, though, I'm sure. Right? All right. So then this little frog. So one, two, three, four. Man, uh, butterfly line of sight. So I'm looking for vertical and horizontal. So there's one red, two reds. So that's not very good. Come on. And then black. So one, two. Three, yeah, four. It. so yeah, I get all four points or all 12 points for that one. Yep, then this one just um, six first round in that one, missed the full opportunity, of course. All right, so black, now we're looking at one, two, and then three, four, five line of sight. So five times two is ten. And then this one, so I'll get three, six, nine for the yellow black combo and two more. Mm -hmm. so. And then this one, I'll get six points because I didn't close it out. And then down here, another black. So it'll be one, two, three, four, be eight points. Oh, I'm just shy. And then yellow. One, one, two, three, four, be another eight points, 88. I finished with 98. Whoa, it's a big game. Nah. Oh, hold on, I'm counting slow here. Wait, one, two, one, two, one, two, that's four. Is that two points? Wait, it's two points per? Two points per white, so that'd be one, two, four. three, four. Be eight points for that one. There you go. Okay. Because you'll look the full column and the full yeah. row. All right, and then this one is two, four. And uh, let's see here. Oh boy, kick rocks over here. Uh, let's see. Four. Four. Anyone, Lord. <laughs> count your coins. You count, too? Uh, coins. Yeah, I forgot to count my coins, too. So you yeah, make sure you count your fish with coins, the solid color. Oh, I think I might have had. Oh wow! Oh, one coin. Huh. Think. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Danny's like, I have eighty-six coins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot. I, I only have five. Oh yeah, my. With, with your board here, Chad. Like one fish there would have finished two flowers. Oh wow! Yeah, I've been another. That's one fish away. I mean, I was eight. Row. Right there. Eight, eight points. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, yeah. One, so, uh, so, so, some near misses. You guys came in close. I was close though. One two ninety eight. That's a really tight first second. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well then. Um, so that is Kohaku. Everyone, That's thank you all for uh, for jumping in. What you guys think? 
Well, I know, I know what Danny and Andrew think. I mean, what, what are your thoughts? <laughs> oh, I think this is pretty good. I mean, it's it's got an easy flow to it. You know, it's a, definitely a get good situation. It's got some uh, interesting, like, little the little tile movement things after you draft them, which is really good. It kind of changes the way you think, uh, which is, you know, also awesome. And once again, we talked about how this um, looks really good on your table. Um, and I only assume quality when we have, you know, your stuff. I haven't, you haven't failed me on that at all. So... Yeah, it, it's just a really good solid game, and I really can't wait to dig into the solitaire because you said we're kind of playing against two opponents, right? In a sense, right? So uh, that's definitely like at the same time. Yeah, yeah, that's something I love. I love that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, and this looks like it scales scales well too, which is you know tile draft in a nutshell. But I do like to have a game that scales well in my collection. I don't run out of those. I love those types of games, so right. I have to have more of those. So definitely excited about getting this one to my table with my game night crew. Um, yeah, that, it plays just as well at two as it does at four. I tell yeah, people that all the time. Yeah, my wife and I like to play it. Yeah, you know, just two of us, and you yeah. can sit down with four people and have the same game. So yeah, yeah. Well, cool. Well, uh, you guys, uh, you know, want, want to uh, for folks watching, want to let people know where they can find you and uh, check out what you have going on. Oh, for me? Yeah, Jeremy, start it hey, out. Hey man, hey, tell you right now, uh, I'm gonna be I'm with Man versus Meeple. You can always look at my stuff when i'm on there and stuff like that but for right now i'll be shutting down for a little while but you can find every piece of content that i'm putting out on uh jumbo Life plays games community page jumbo pg on instagram and twitter but yeah go ahead and st- jump over to uh the uh, jumbo Life plays games community page we're gonna be doing some fun stuff in there nice very right, fun danny how uh, can people connect with you man you can just find me on twitter uh at 3d divine that's where I hang out. <laughs> that you are on Twitter a lot. You're, you're yeah. always, always on the Twitter. Even, even Dale has just messaged me. It's always a like Twitter DM. Like it's not an email, it's not anything, it's a Twitter DM. <laughs> we we uh, conducted the entirety of our business correspondence for this game on Twitter. Tweeting. Good that and Google Drive. It's crazy. Um, <laughs> just, uh, uh, once once again, I'm Andrew uh, with Gold Seal Games, everything at Gold Seal Games, goldsealgames.com. Yep. Yeah, and uh, Chad Elkins, 25th Century Games, uh, same thing, 25th Century Games, everything, pretty easy to track down. And uh, I, as we said before, this comes out in retail February 10th. I want to thank everyone for watching. Appreciate you putting up with our technical difficulties at the beginning and then the, the quick drop feed there for a sec. But uh, thanks for sticking it out, and thank you all for joining us tonight to, to play around. I, I appreciate it. Thanks, everybody. Right. With that, everybody have a good night. Take care.